In this video tutorial, I want to share with you how to insert a photo album into your PowerPoint slide. Okay, so usually the usual way to insert pictures into our PowerPoint slide is just to come to insert over here and you can come to pictures and you can take pictures from this device or from stock images or from online pictures. So some, sometimes we say from this device and we can navigate to any location where we have the image. We just click and then we can click on insert and it's going to insert the image in our PowerPoint slide. Okay, so this is one way of inserting an image. The second way is we can undo this and we can insert the same image using the insert button and we come to insert. But then we used to insert uh, multiple pictures. For example, this is one picture. We can say if we want to insert multiple, we can just select select all of them. Okay, select maybe we can double click. We can uh, click and drag and select all the pictures. And then we can click on insert and it's going to insert all the pictures at once. Now this is inserting at once. And if you want to insert all these like seven to nine pictures, you have to create different slides and you have to copy or you have to drag and move each one of them to each slide. And that's a hell lot of work. Now what I want to share with us today is just a simple way of creating a photo album where all the pictures will be on a specific slide. Okay. So let's do uh, another undo on this. And in this time around, we still come to insert, but then instead of uh, the insert normal picture, we can come to insert photo album. Okay, so we can just click on the photo album over here and look how to, it's going to bring us to this dialogue. Okay, so we can say insert from pictures from a file or a disk. So we can just click to navigate to where we have our pictures saved. So for example, in our own case, I have them in this folder and we can just click to drag and select all of them and then we can click insert to insert now this is just because we have quite a little pictures within the folder but if in cases when we have hundreds of pictures in those cases we just have to use the keyboard and say ctrl a to select all the pictures and then we can say insert to insert all of them now by mere inserting you just understand or we'll take a look at what happens to our slides each and every one of them is occupying a single slide so for example you can click on this and you can see this is the first slide and this is the first picture you see the second one this is the second slide and this is the second picture you can see the third slide this is third slide and third picture so depending on the arrangement or how you want it to be arranged you can easily select any picture for example this one and you can use this moving arrow you can move it up to make it the first one or you can make it the third one or fifth one uh, as you so wish and you can select multiple images as well and you can make them the you can move them to the top or you can move them to the bottom accordingly or you can select a particular image and just delete remove it from here and it will just be removed another thing that you can take a look at is we have some uh, very basic picture editing uh, features over here so let's say we unselect all of them let's say we have selected only uh, this one let's say we selected only this one and to your right you, you see we have a bunch of uh, image features over here if we can select any image and we can see we have some basic image editing features over here for example you can rotate it to the left or to the right or you can rotate it to the right something like that very easily or you can if you want you can decide to increase or decrease you can play around with the coloration or you can increase or decrease the brightness of this uh, very image you can increase the brightness and you can decrease accordingly to make it a bit uh, more clearer so depending you have some very basic features over here to play around with your image whatever image you have on the slide and down here you have the option to fit each and every one of the slides to fit to slide to fit the image to the slide so you can select if you want one picture per slide then it goes one picture per slide you want two pictures per slide it adjusts everything to two pictures per slide and if you want it to be four it can go as far as four pictures per slide and you can see the preview over here so once you click on create it's going to create these four pictures in one slide and it's going to be a different thing you can see the arrangement so slide one two three four all are going to be on that slide one this one logo this this also descriptions are going to be on that slide two and the other ones are going to be on that slide three okay so you are free to add text you are free to insert a new text box in cases when you want to insert a text box you can put caption below all pictures if you want you can put all pictures black 
and white if you want you can make air all the pictures black and white if you so wish so you can see right now it has changed everything to black and white whichever picture you choose is going to be black and white so but i don't want all this i don't want the image to be black and white i want them to be colored as they are so once you're done with all these you can just click on create okay, so once you are done with everything we are searching with everything we make it one slide and it fits to slide so once you click on create or if you have some themes if you have some themes you can browse wherever you have them and you can bring them in accordingly so if there are some themes over here from the ones that are default and available for microsoft office you can bring in anyone and you can add add them to the file and once you're done you're satisfied with everything you can just click on create and look what happens you can see instead of the usual way where all the pictures are dumped in one slide now everything is uh, provided in different slides and it's fit to content it's fit to the slide okay you can see the fitting everything is done perfect so the next thing you can do is maybe you can see the first slide usually is the title of the slide okay you can have to put the album so let's say we can call it thumbnails by Abdurashid Said. It usually captures your name, whoever is using it. So you can put the first page as, a, as the title page. And then another thing we can put as a bonus is you can insert transitions according to our our slides. Okay, you can insert transitions as the picture is moving from one slide to another. So you come to transitions to insert transition. You can just come to transition and you can see quite a lot of them. You can see morph transition. Okay. You can see fade transition you can see push transition in cases when you want to move from maybe this slide to the next slide you can use push tra transition and you can see the effect you can do wipe transition and you can do split transition and many more many more you can do reveal transition from the first one to the next one you can do cut transition and you can do random bars as well right quite a lot of them on cover and you can see cover as well so as you move from one slide to another you can see a bunch of them so you can do even cuttings i kind of like cuttings sometimes okay so it's kind of very fantastic feature it will open to the next slide and you can do wind as well all right and you can do fracture you can do crush and throw it away and you can change quite a lot of things you can do airplane mode and you can do page curl and many more origami is also popular you can see from so if it depends on it all depends on you if you want to apply the same transition and you selected any transition for example we say we want to go with the curtains and we can select to apply this to all our slides okay you just click to apply to all and now let's try to play our powerpoint and let's see how it happens so you just click and just come over here and just click on slideshow let's see what happens these thumbnails by dr abdrashid and look what happens to the next slide you can see it very nicely look what happens to the next slide so you can have it open accordingly depending on what kind of message you have and i think it kind of looks fantastic and interesting okay so feel free to try it another one more thing that i can share with you is the animations okay so you can animate your text or your images within the you can animate text or images within the powerpoint slide okay, so another thing I, I can share with you is the animation you can put in animation to your text and to your images so for example the first thing you can have is you can animate your text by selecting the text you can just come over to animations and you can see a bunch of them you can appear you can fade you can fly in for example you can float in and you can split if you want and you can do shape you can do wipe and so much more I, what i like is the bounce forward you can do this for your text and you can do equally do the same for your images okay for your images for example you insert a simple image and you want to do the same you want to put in the same animations you can do that so let's say we put in some simple image and we want to put in some animations to it okay so you can just select this and you can double click on it and you come to animations and then you can put some uh, bouncing or swivel option from from here so you can just swap okay you can see it or you can just put on bouncing effect which i, I so much kind of like you feel free to uh, kind of try it and see the difference and what you can do with it all right so feel free to just try it on anyone
and see what you can do and we'll see what you can change so ladies and gentlemen this is just a bit about how to insert photo albums to your powerpoint slides if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye it's